Hello, uh, Scott the Astro Manager here. We're going to continue on with our email management tips. And the last session we talked about scheduling time to process your emails. And you're know, trying to block one if you can, as few as you can during the day, so you're not constantly being barraged by emails. So in order for that to work though, you also have to stop all the little nags of the, your email client trying to get you to read your email. Hey, you've got email, better go check it. Ding, 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 you've got email, new email, 55,000 unread email messages. Oh, 55,001, you wanna turn all, these all those things off. That's gonna vary depending on your client. So I'll, I'll walk you through Gmail, but you can just do a, a, a search, you know, web search, whatever tool you use um, for your, your email client turn off notifications. And the reason why that's important, besides allowing you to spend time not focused on email, just interruptions in general are really inefficient use of time. And I've read a variety of, of studies and the numbers vary. It's kind of seven to 25, 30, 40 minutes um, is how much time it takes you to sort of get back to where you were after an interruption. Now, that doesn't mean you know, you're, you're working on something, some interrupts, you talk to them, you can turn back right away and work on it. But where your mind was, where your concentration was, that level of flow, if you were, if you were there, getting you back to that same state that you were involved into that task that you were doing after an interruption, that's where that time comes in. So if you're constantly being interrupted by emails and dings, and this is not just email, this is all notifications you should turn off unless there's something that you really absolutely have to respond to. You don't want interruptions to be dictating what you do that day. If you if you have all those interruptions, you're responding to them, even if you just hear them not responding to them, your brain is 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 processing that and it's temporarily taking your brain off the task you're working, and you're thinking about that interruption. I oh, know I won't do that now. Maybe that's not the full seven to twenty five minute delay, but there is still a, a price for that. So you really don't want to you know, have those interruptions. And you don't want the interruptions in your mail client, if you're, in this case, to be your manager, you know, to be your, your, task, um, you know, your task management system. Uh, that's not, you want to be in control of the system yourself. So you want to turn those off. And I guess the other thing is, is you want to train yourself and others that email is not time sensitive, it's not urgent. If there's an urgent thing, call me. So another reason why you don't want to be able, you don't want to respond to emails right away. Now, I definitely turn my, my notifications off, but sometimes I keep an eye on it. And sometimes I, you know, see name, oh, I can respond to this quickly. And sometimes I actually don't just because I don't want to, even though I can, I'm right there. I don't want to give that impression that I'm turning around email very quickly. So even when I can, when I'm processing email, sometimes I don't on, on purpose. No, a lot of times I do anyhow, but but you know, the it's I think it's okay I th it, not not to, and I think there's a there's a good reason to. So you know, take that in, figure out what what works for you. So I'm going to show you here some settings on a Gmail, and, and of course this is going to change as Gmail evolves, and of course it does every day, uh, practically. So um, let's see the first group of settings I want to look at here. Conversation view. So this is having it view by topic by subject or rather than as they come in. This allows you to view everything as we've talked about before. So I, I turn that on. Nudges, I actually, I really like those now. Um, this reminds me when I've sent something out and I haven't heard a response yet. And so if, if I don't always have a good reply uh, follow-up system or if I'm not looking at that follow-up system, Gmail's pretty good so far at reminding me about things that I really might want to follow up on versus things that I don't. Try it and see if it works for you or not. It, it works. It works pretty well for me. Smart reply, take it or leave it. Um, the smart, you know, personalizations. In theory, it allows you to shorten your response time on emails if you can can't, uh, send one of those canned responses. If you're sending a canned response, it kind of makes me wonder why are we using email? If if, if an AI can respond, then why should, you know <laughs> why are we having this this conversation? Nonetheless, uh, it it might serve some use for use for you. But the thing I really want to point out here is the desktop notifications. Turn those off. And then uh, in the next session, we'll talk about keyboard shortcuts. But, uh, um, so, but I definitely uh, encourage you to turn those on. And in the next slide here, custom keyboard shortcuts, definitely. You know, that's what we'll get into in the next session. And then finally, the unread message icon. 
that tells you how many you've got. You don't want those reminders. You've got 72 unread messages. Uh, you you, you want to be able to get the email when you're ready to do it, not when email's prompting you. Hey, can we get your attention now? Um, so other things you can do is some email clients, you can set them to not to not automatically download your email. So it only checks for email when you tell it to. So that's a good way if you don't trust yourself um, you know, not to, not to keep glancing, or or, or you maybe you can't turn you can't turn off notifications for some reason. Uh, if you can turn off the don't download until I tell you to, then it's the same thing. You you you're going to tell your email client, get my emails now. Then if you have your uh, client email client always open, don't do that. You don't want to be tempted to do that. Uh, so usually the read these days that's kind of a tab in your browser, and you're not going to be on the tabs, so that's okay. But if you know, if it's a separate standalone program, iconize it. Uh, put something else over it. Iconize it. Iconify it. <laughs> shrink it. Whatever the right word there is. Uh, you can place another window over it. You know, something to get it out of your way, so you're not constantly responding to those things. Because your email client is going to want to get your attention as often as it can, and it's going to tell you all these things. You turn off notifications and get that email client out of your out of your site until you're ready for it. Now, if you're somebody in operations uh, in one form or another and you have to respond to email on a regular basis, then yeah, maybe you start your day doing your long email session and then depending on you know, what your exactly the, the domain in your, in your field is and, and how long you can wait, maybe you check in 30, 40, 60 minute chunks, you know, however often you can. And if you can scan subject lines for things that are urgent, that are time sensitive versus things that are not, uh, then do that and just process the the ones that you have to respond to you know re regularly uh, fairly immediately because that's part of your job and so even if that's part of your job some of your emails do not need that kind of uh, immediate response so don't respond to those save those for your next day session so you know, you have to judge what your job is about and what your responsibility is so i would definitely you know consider consider those options so that's it for now, and we'll talk about uh, keyboard shortcuts next time. I hope you found this useful, and I hope you see me next time. Bye-bye.